so much for joining us for Rivals of Waterdeep Season 4. Quattro. We did really not plan that, that at all. Really <laughs> <exciting>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I will be your DM this season. And uh, my name is Serena Marie. And uh, yeah, that's my name. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Surprised by that. So deep, so deep I'm in doing the character. so good right now. <laughs> um, let's go around the table and introduce ourselves and our preferred pronouns and who we play. Starting with Tanya. Hi, I'm Tanya. I'm your eternally grumpy paladin, uh, always in one of a bath, Salise Astorio. Uh, Salise and my pronouns are she, her. Hi, I'm Brandon Stennis. Uh, I play Ren Leodon. I'm a high elf sorcerer and pronouns are he, him for both of us. Hey, I am Cicero Holmes, uh, he, him, for me and my character, who is the wonderful Mr. Perrin Underbow, your halfling bard. Everyone, my name is Carlos Luna. My preferred pronouns are he, him, and I play Knock Knock, the half-orc fighter, whose pronouns is also he, him. Hey, and I am Shreve Jackson playing Shaka, tiefling warlock. Uh, Both of our pronouns are he, him. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing it. Yeah. We're doing yeah. it. We haven't yeah. seen each other in a while. Yeah, yeah. we haven't seen we, each other. We, we live we in the same. We haven't seen each other in a while in the state. In the state we live in. Yes, we don't. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. We saw it's, each other. We saw uh, each other in Boston yeah. and in LA, yeah. uh-huh. like, but uh, not in Chicago. But not in Chicago, Chicago right. where we can drive to each other's homes. Welcome to my life, Carlos. It felt like spring break when we all showed up. It felt like yeah, the end of like the summer. We're coming yeah, right, back. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, new haircut! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, for this uh, particular session, um, we have some interesting things to give away. Well, we have an interesting thing. So, what I have in my hand for those that did not see DD Live, and I don't know if you can get any closer, Joe. If not, I'll tweet a photo. Um, so, there is a way to get the soul coin from uh, DD Live this summer. And what we're going to do is actually give one of these away this week and next week. And uh, D. Classer is going to throw that link in the chat and the keyword. And then later on in the show, we'll pick a winner. You have to be here. Note that this You have to be in the studio? You have to be yeah. physically here. Right. <laughs> in the chat. I'm going to win that coin. That soul stone is mine. That soul, that soul coin is mine. That soul stone is mine. So depending on how today goes, this may come charged with the soul of one of the members of Rivals of Water. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, Wizards of the Coast does not give you a fully charged soul, uh, uh, soul coin. So uh, Dee Clacera is going to take care of that. Oh, Joe is giving you a close-up. So you oh. got to stop oh, shaking it. Yeah. Oh, Hello. okay. <laughs> oh, look at coin. that. Look at that coin. Yes. Oh, and a wink from Tanya. Yeah, <laughs> yeah every, every, every one of our souls are inside that yeah. coin. Yeah, all of our souls. Yeah. So whoever I'm wins it. I'm not giving it. a <laughs> Wait, it's not, not a horcrux? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that is that canon? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I want to do is thank our sponsors, uh, D&D Beyond. We use them for our show. Yes. Mm. If you are going to use D&D Beyond, please use our code, which is rivals 19 and it is good until September, and then we have a chance to uh, renew that. So Rivals 19, all in caps. Yeah, so buy all the things so we mm. can renew it. <laughs> <laughs> buy all the things, tell me you love our show so that we can keep having these. Um, and then I'm sure some of you have seen me tweeting on... Um, Tweeting on the Twitters. Wow, I'm tired. Tweeting on the Twitters. Tweeting on the Twitters. Tweeting on the Twitters. Yes. Look, it's our first episode in a long time. <laughs> um, but Level Up Dice um, add us to their affiliate program. If you go to our Twitter, you can see our link. So, hey, buy dice, and then we can get dice. We can keep having fancy dice. Yeah. And then, uh, lastly, a big thank you to Level Up. I'm sorry, to Wormwood who gave us lovely, lovely dice trays with our character names in them. Um, Rin is showing off his. Oh, yeah. So thank you again to Wormwood for these. We got them in time for D&D Live in May. And, yeah, we love how much support the show's getting. If you like our show, please tell D&D. Tell D&D Beyond. Tell us, because it makes us happy to get fun replies and fan art. And we'll take it. Or cosplay. If you want to cosplay into us, we will not stop it. <laughs> speaking, speaking of fan art, our official artist is yeah. Chris oh, Flauto. Yes. And if you want something beautiful like this, contact us and we will help you get in contact with Chris Claudio. 
He is an amazing mm-hmm. artist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and we really love all the stuff that he does for us. And if you love your rival's art, make sure you contact us and we'll get you in contact with Chris Claudio. Also, this show is sponsored by Audible and Blue Apron. <laughs> 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 Squarespace. Right. 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 Uh, Casper Mattress would like us to bring uh, up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, right. amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. what happened? Oh, oh, wait. Well, yeah, you have to do it. You yeah. have to do it. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> what happened last time, you guys? Now, was this last time in Avernus or last time? Yeah. Like, season? Mm. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Is it Avernus yeah. or Avernus? I would say Avernus. 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 I don't know. I've heard both. Right. I'm right. Like, exactly. Is, is it Houston that's or true. Houston? Ooh. Houston? Ooh. Yeah. That's awesome. pretty good. I mean, it's Houston, Houston Street in New it's York. It's Houston though. Street in New York. Oh. Well, Houston, oh, well, Houston Texas. That. Yeah. Also, also mm-hmm. in Beverly Hills, where all the shops are, is Rodeo Drive. Okay, but in Compton, Ro- it's Rodeo, Rodeo Drive. Drive. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's weird. That's true. Yeah, this has so, everything to do yeah, with our I'm recap. Learning right? so yes. many facts. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> next, so, uh, next up yeah. on Derailment Podcast. Right. Uh, <laughs> on Derailment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> in, <laughs> yeah. Avernus. Drive, or, <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, are, are we talking about the last episode or like every like everything? Season three, like, uh, maybe the last part of season three leading up to the last episode because uh, Rin, yeah. Brandon wasn't here for the last True. episode. Yeah. Right. So well, he was here. He was just looting. I mean, he was here. Yeah. Yeah. He, was he was not looting. Dead bodies. He was stealing from a dead body, <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't looting. That's what it. I heard. That's what I heard. That was that was looting. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Your really was he was he was yeah. foraging. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was yeah. like a video game where you go up to every body. Press X. He found some nice stuff. It was fine. Yeah. What happened? We're terrible. Um. So, yeah, I guess we. We went to the uh, the big bad dungeon, mm-hmm. and we fought a dragon. Oh right. well, no, we didn't fight a dragon. Mm-mm. You we, almost fought. We a dragon. almost fought a dragon. You guys were very mm-hmm. close. We almost fought a dragon, but we gained enough gold. Yep. To get the people of Nightstone out. Mm. Some okay. of the people of Nightstone. Hey, well, the people of Nightstone. We gained enough gold to get the people of Nightstone out, yep. and then the dragon came. And then it was just yeah, and he bad. took him yeah, out. Yeah, he he wrecked sh- he wrecked shop. <laughs> he wrecked shop. <laughs> the people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I thought the, the most interesting thing was you guys actually got one of the better endings I'd planned out. Oh my oh, god! Really? Surprisingly, <laughs> what was that? What, what, what was the yeah. That was that was one of the better ones that, that I had planned <laughs> out. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I I I thought it ended well. well it was cool. Um, and then we, uh, and then right after that, uh, I somehow ended up in Nightstone, you know, I got teleported to Nightstone, uh, just ran out of there with everybody else. Um, we came across, I forgot the name of the demon. What was the name of the demon that, uh, kind of came and, uh, talked trash to us and then created trash? Uh, The, the, the lion demon? No, 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 no. There was like a demon demon? that was like, I got to clean up Gratz's mess. The uh, name of his demon was Zod. Zod, okay. Oh, Zod. General Zod. Zod. General Zod. Um, (laughs) Kneel before me. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, she, you know, came and said, hey, I got to clean up, you know, the mess that you guys caused. Um, And she said that there was an entanglement uh, because if you remember, I think it was season one, I think, um, when... When uh, chips and ashes souls got mm. combined, so they could see through each right. other, so they basically undid that and merged chips and ash That's right. into the singularity, yes, known as Chash, yes, slash Fluffy, yes, uh, That's right, and is a big dire fox, yes. Well, actually, I don't, I don't know how big, but. I'm I'm imagining like a Game of Thrones size. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. I like yeah. 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 We we also didn't pet Ash. Oh, you know, as good. we walked oh, away, as chips. Well, well, chips. no, no. I I did try to like I tried to like look into the eyes and yes. see how she was there, yeah. and I think I rolled low. Yes, and like yeah, kind of backed up because I was scared. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, that, so that that took us that took us to hell. Yes, yeah. and then, you know, and then we mm-hmm. we wound up in hell and. Uh, we we met someone there. She was very beautiful, and and she helped us out. Um, 
I forget the character's name, but she was played by the wonderful <laughs> Erica. Kagoya. 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 Yes. Oh, Kagoya. Yeah. Yes. Um, it was hard to hear on that side of the table. It was yeah. very yeah. hard was to hear. Hard. When I watched the video, I heard so much more. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there were so many things that y'all said that I did not even hear while, while, while we were playing. Like literally, probably half the show. Oh right. my god! Like, for anyone no. wondering what we're talking about, we had uh, the. D and D um, stream that they had in LA. Uh, the booth looks great and everything in back looks great, but the wall is so tiny between like uh, us and an entire marketplace of people walking yeah. around mm -hmm. and uh, cosplayers and actors like acting and and also being loud. And it was just like. I think the stream, you can't hear them that loud, but like when you're there, there's yeah. no roof. There's no right. like right. anything covering you. You're not in a separate room. You're just like in a separate like three wall room. And uh, yeah, sometimes it was really hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all like not trying to lean over each other like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, we just kept on with the role play. Oh, yeah. Even That's though we good. couldn't hear like yeah. half yeah. of what it was. I didn't know that you guys, I mean, I couldn't hear very well, but I just assumed that you guys, because you were doing so well, I was like, everyone, everything's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> we were just going. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah so we saw Kagoya uh, fighting a robot uh, with uh, Chash. Mm -hmm. um, I like grabbed grabbed Chash, uh, and I think if I think I remember you like grabbed something from the robot, like some kind of power source um, mm -hmm. from you the robot. The battery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then we ran into. Uh, uh, Kelm, I believe his name was. The, oh yeah, like the little boy. That what was we, it, what was his nickname? <clears throat> little. No. Oh, little little. Oh uh, yeah, what's his little name? Little smoke. Little smoke. Little smoke. Little smoke. Yeah. My favorite. My favorite joke in the entire thing was uh, she calling him little, and I'm like. Uh, no, I'm, I think his name is yeah. Lil. No, like Sebastian. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and like he apparently has like a cubicle job in hell. Like yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, like yeah. went oh, to wow. LinkedIn and got a job. <laughs> <laughs> um, blinked in, got blinked in. <laughs> Pretty good. That's blinked good. In. Um, yeah, and then um, yeah, so like uh, he um, said, if you want to get out, I got to bring you to to my boss. Um, so we, on the way there, uh, knock, knock and Perrin got, uh, you know, um, deviated off the path by the smell of, uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We smell really good food. Yeah. yeah we smell food. Um, yeah. I have a feeling they almost lost their souls. I mean, maybe, yeah. it's hard to tell. <laughs> for, I don't know. Yeah. Losing their souls. Who knows? Almost. <laughs> for, 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 for some Bastin clam chowder. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Then we had a long discussion on uh, <laughs> yeah, the best clam chowder. Right. Yes. Manhattan clam right. chowder yeah. or New England. Yeah, New England. Yep. It's New England. That's the only one yes, we were allowed to That is the only one that matters. Yeah. The only thing that New England has done correctly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 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 Shots wow. fired. Wow. Yeah. Um, and so that portion of the viewership just dropped yeah. off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and basically uh, to get out, we had to like bring some water from a fountain and we were attacked by wild turkeys. Yes. Yep. Or chickens. Wild oh. chickens. Bismal, chickens. Hell chickens. Hell chickens. Hell chickens. Abysmal chickens. Abysmal chick yeah. chicken? Yes, they were abysmal. 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 Yes. They chickens. Were, right. They and were now, abyssal chickens. Abyssal. And abyssal now we chicken. went back and we're at Black <laughs> Blackstaff. That was yeah. 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 But 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 the important part was that Kagoya found out she was a prisoner of Mahandi yes. mm -hmm. because like she had lost her memories and she was getting like her uh, memories back. And she found out that she was basically like this like warrior angel i guess yeah mm -hmm. that was like defending people and she lost her way and was like wandering hell and lost her memories and um yeah so um and then like she basically said if if they get it like i'll stay and and um like she made a deal mm. with mahandi who's like a Rox, what's the name? Rox, Rashaska. Rashaska, Rashaska, which is basically like like a tiger, right? L mm -hmm. Like a, like a big, big white, white tiger. tiger. Yeah, yes. um, yeah. So like she made that the deal for us. We got the water back. Parents stood in the middle of oh, so epic. Of, it was what like so epic. It, it totally made me think of uh, like if if the if. If uh, Lion King was good, yeah. <laughs> and when the dad went down good. and like actually survived, wait, yeah. do you not like the Lion King? Yeah, well, I mean, like I mean, the like, new, sorry, the, the sorry. current one. Oh, okay. No, 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 oh. that part of the Lion King oh. when the dad got. Oh, oh. like if that was a positive oh. moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If, if it was positive, it would have been like a parent that gets in the middle and oh, casts. Yeah. Gotcha, but instead gotcha. He did. Yeah, I, for, I forgot what you casted, but it was. Yeah, you know, I cast some kind of spell that made all of them just fall. Yes. 
Um, um, it was called uh, Synaptic Static. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that was yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, also, 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 I remember that Salish tried to stab a chicken in and it got stuck on her sword. It did. It got stuck <laughs> on her sword. So she was just walking around with a chicken on her sword. That was pretty good. <laughs> 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 like just flaming out. <laughs> 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 oh, good. man. Uh, are we ready to begin? Yeah. 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 Are we starting? Uh -oh. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. There are moments in life that move quickly, shared moments gone in a blink of an eye, or moments of distress that seem to last a lifetime. <clears throat> Time feels like magic with its ability to stretch, stop, and morph into our perception of reality. It only feels a few days ago when you saw your good friend Ash and Chips morph into one large dire fox before your eyes, two souls combined into one physical body. You followed your friend into the flames of hell, and not only did you return, you met someone new along the way. You rescued the angel, Kagoya, and helped her memory return. Your party emerged from hell into the office of Radra, who was nowhere to be seen, and you were quickly discovered by the guards of Blackstaff Tower. As you were being escorted out, you noticed Kagoya is nowhere to be seen. All of you, including Ren, have regrouped to the safe house. You've been resting now for two weeks, and you're starting to feel like yourselves again. Earlier this morning, you received a mysterious letter asking if you would meet at an address enclosed. It reads, looking for a place to hang your hat? Follow this address. It's where I'm at. After a lot of debating, you decide to check the address out and see who this mystery person is. As you're all getting ready to head out, you notice, um, as you're all are ready to head out, you, uh, you leave the safe house and notice a young lady wearing a uniform matching the color of Knock Knock's approach. Mm. Oh, we all notice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all are outside <coughs> the safe house gearing Do, up. Can I roll to see if I know who this person is? Mm -hmm. Roll me a yeah, perception or a history. Oh, okay. Uh, 11. 11. Um, you don't really notice who she like her face doesn't seem that familiar but her clothes definitely familiar seem familiar to you they're very um similar to the clothes that your old clan would wear mm. and it's just one it's just one person it's just one uh, young girl and um she's um a half elf with shoulder length hair and um big eyes and she looks she's happy to she's happily approaching you okay uh i just want to turn to everyone and be like oh uh, guys um I uh I know I know this person. Um uh give me one one second, one second. And uh how far away is she? Um she's approaching, so she's probably like um like to the where the door is. So is how much <laughs> how is that? Is that like Twelve 20 feet, feet, twenty, 20 feet. feet. I, love <laughs> I don't really understand yeah, distance. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I'm a. It's a fifty by fifty. Right? Right. Right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. approach this yeah. person uh, cautiously. Yeah. I guess. Uh, knock knock. I yeah. Is that you? Um, I've been looking everywhere in the city for you. Um, and she's gonna try to hug you oh. but then uh -huh. realizes that you have a look of um unfamiliarity so she does one of those it's like running running into people at a con huh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like i've been tweeting her for a while but like, and i want to like hug them but, <laughs> but like, is person. this appropriate <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah this is the right way to behave by the way yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah I, I i'm absolutely gonna lean over to whoever i'm the closest to and like say i think they're uh Exes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm yeah. totally doing over. I like how Shag is the only eyebrows. one invested in their backstory. <laughs> <I'm invested. laughs> oh, yeah. I feel uh, like Ren turns to Shag is like, you, you think like estranged lovers? Yeah. I, I just give you the eyebrows. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that's what's happening here. Mm. I agree. Mm. <laughs> uh, so. Um, I'm so, so happy you didn't uh, die. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. me too. Yeah. I'm so glad. Um, our clan heard all about Nightstone. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it I was thought you died. And he has no idea who this person is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's just like looks back at his friends, like 
he's doing that thing like, oh man, I wish people were around so I can introduce you. Right. Or have you guys introduce so you know, so Perrin, <laughs> Perrin's picking up what he's throwing down. So Perrin comes over and he says, Nuck Nuck, a friend of yours, perhaps you would like to introduce you. Instead, I'll do it myself. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> right? And he kind of he kind of winks at Knock oh Knock because he sees like the the craziness in, in Knock Knock's there. Um, I'd like to roll performance to see mm. how well this is all going over. Yeah. And he introduces himself. Hello. Perhaps you've heard of me. First PU of the season, everyone. Perhaps. <laughs> no, you, no, no, you, no, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Uh, no. Perhaps you've heard of me. I am the one and only Mr. Perrin Enderboo. Uh, performance, that is a 20. Oh, she is, um, she's absolutely have has heard of you. Yeah. And she does that um, embarrassed, like, you know, when you meet a celebrity, you, you're just a little weird. You know, like yes. kind of like socially awkward. Yes. She goes, oh, oh, yes. Oh, hello, Perrin. Underbow. Um, you octobird <laughs> is the word. And I, uh, I, wow. <laughs> well, it is. Um, I'm Alora. 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 like, uh, you use a different icon on Twitter. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm um I'm from the same clan. Um, knock knock is from. He actually was is much older than me. Uh, and uh, he's kind of um. And she looks at knock knock. You're kind of a, a big deal back home. Oh, am I? Yeah, like uh, and uh, she like kind of takes out and it looks like a little action figure. Oh, and it's of knock knock. Oh, oh yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Oh. She's, yeah, you um. We hear all about it. Your adventures and and um. I, I, that's why I wanted to come and find you. Yeah. Uh, um, well, why? Well, um, can I see the action figure? I'm just, yeah, I'm going to yeah. be staring at it, it the has, entire time. Yeah. It has like little removable arrows. Oh, I'm so dope. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it Kung Fu grip? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is All it the NyQuil joints. Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> All the joints move. Oh, I saw the NyQuil. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can we see? Are we like still yeah. all the way back? Okay. Oh, you guys are. Yeah. Oh, all together. Yeah, okay. Close. Yeah. All right. Like Ren's like, I want to see it. Let me check. Oh, let me check try it out. It. Check it out. It's like one of those. Uh, everything moves on it. I don't even know how they make. Your figure's <laughs> cooler than you are. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. It's not yeah. that much. I'm pretty sure I look exactly like this. <laughs> um, it says you play for the Chad Congo Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, please look up Nyquil Jordan, <laughs> Chat Congo Balls. He's just kind of standing there the staring at all of them. I play for the, uh, the Chica Go. Oh Chica Go Bills. Oh, God. Um, but that, that's why I'm, I'm here. I wanted to um, offer you a position back home on the Council of Elders. Um, only because, you're, I mean, you're not old. No. And an elder, I mean, it's like implying you're old. I don't think you're old. I think that you're old-minded, maybe. Ooh, I think I'm old-minded um, for sure. But but you've been to hell. Yeah. You've been to hell, and 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 maybe you can instruct us on um, the th new threats from below because something's happening. Knock knock, and all of us back home are really scared about it. But you are the only person that has dealt with it, like in person. So. If you wanted to come back, um, how how long would I be gone? For? How long would you guys need me? Well, um, it depends on how long you want to stay. I mean, I've looked up to you for a really long time, and so if you wanted like to stay forever, <laughs> like I wouldn't say no. But or if you wanted to stay for a couple months or a year or whatever you want, whatever is comfortable. Um, but your family misses you. Um, uh, can you just give me one second? Yeah. And, yeah. uh, I want to huddle up with everyone. Yeah, let's huddle yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. That's our yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, can we get a sidebar going real quick, guys? <laughs> All right, so, um, how, how does she know that you went to hell? I guess word travels fast. Is this like a thing? It's I, only been two weeks. How would you? I don't, I don't know. How do I have an action figure? <laughs> I, mean, I don't trust her. 
You don't trust her? I no. I know I know her, I guess. You didn't remember who she was. That's I true. could see it. I think we should ask her what the markup is on these action figures. <laughs> <laughs> you think, you think, wait. Do you think I'm not getting a cut of these? We can get some gold, man. You didn't know they existed. No, you're not uh, getting a cut. I figured royalties, they'd be sending me a check in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> to where? To, to like safe house? And what? Oh, safe I got, house and I got to get better money, people. <laughs> As your agent, allow me to negotiate. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, is there <clears throat> any way for me to know if this is on the up and up? Can I roll an insight yeah, or something? Yeah, you can roll an insight on her. Okay. Uh, 18. Nice. Um, you can tell that any type of thing that might be sh shady where she's looking down or up or any of those instincts are all due to the fact she's really nervous. Um, mm. Everything she's telling you is true mm. and you, you feel that. But okay. she's also a little awkward and um, nervous to meet you in person. And also parents here, and she's like kind of losing her mind. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Is Perrin really more famous than all of us? <laughs> no. Oh, he yeah. Is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like he did win that. Yeah, contest. that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he right. lit the stage. Right? <laughs> 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 and burned the theater down. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, um, I guess it would be pretty yeah. punk rock, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so like my, my main thing to like a knock knock is like, look, um, why would they send this young? Uh, you know, person to invite you to the Council of Elders. Wouldn't they send someone that's a little more senior or involved in the clan? I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on. Maybe they lost numbers. I think she might have gone rogue, man. You think she's gone rogue? <laughs> yeah. I'm not picking that up at all. <laughs> yeah. I, guys, I think this is legit. I think... No. I mean, you, I can't you, take you from your... Like, if you want to do it, I can't stop you, but well, I'm just trying to give you some, but can some we friendly just, advice. Can we go with him? To what protect them? I don't know if we're all going to be invited in the... I don't, I don't think they're going to let I mean, you're an elf. In. I like, think like, we they should don't try. But, like, I don't know if they... I'm a human. They're not going to let me in. Yeah. I, mean, I barely got in. I've never been, like, invited to the council before. Well, I mean... Okay, where is... Why don't you... Where, where is this? Because like, this is outside of Waterdeep, obviously. Yeah, so yeah. we'd have to leave the city. Um, do we feel like the city is in good... Good hands? Sort of. Nothing's burned down in a while. Well, I think you guys were going to, you guys got a letter to go to a place, and the letter rhymed. <laughs> There's some hot bars. There's some so, hot bars. So your paladin here, have we also kind of forgotten about Ash and Chips? Yeah, is and a like Chash here? And Chash is oh, like is rolling here. in the dirt right now. <laughs> okay. So are, are we not going to fix this? Y'all are just like, bye. I mean, we this. can't fix, I mean, I don't know, how could we fix it? We, we live in a world of magic. We do. Yes. Do you have unentanglement magic? <laughs> did, God. did you level up in some way that we don't know? <laughs> What's leveling up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it's just a thing that the cool people do. They yeah, okay. stand outside. Once and, a year. <laughs> <laughs> level up. We have enough um, experience. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what, I mean, oh if, <laughs> if you want to check it out, I think we should, but I think we should probably all go. Well, what, what about, about the letter? What about the letter in the meeting? Oh, do we all want to oh, do, yeah. do want to do this with the party song uh, this early? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, we don't know who the letter's from. We don't know the urgency of it. We don't. We don't know this child either. Yeah, but if if I have to choose between random letter and like knock knock going back with his original fan, let like me see. Let me see. Adopted fan. Hold on one second. Can we? Can can't we do both? Can't we go and see what's Allura. happening with Allura? Yeah. Uh, me, uh, I'm just over here not listening to anything you're saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go. Uh, okay. Hey, um, is it cool if I bring, you know, like a bunch of people with me? Oh, um, honestly, can we have a sidebar? Um, just you and me? No sidebar within a sidebar. So yeah. Oh, they this really are strange lovers. Yeah. Uh, they <laughs> are. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm, just, um, <laughs> I'm just looking at <laughs> her and I'm, I'm like, yeah. just, give me, just, uh, just uh, yeah. give me a minute. Oh, yeah. The internal, like sidebar and a sidebar. Um, Get out of here, Fox. Fox is playing. What are we just talking like... about? <laughs> what are we talking about, guys? The, wait, question for one second. Knock knock. Does knock knock speak Elvish? I think he mm -hmm. would. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think yeah. he should. And so does Celise. Yeah. 
So this would be an Elvis. A- and our room, right? mm-hmm. You speak Elvis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would yeah. hope so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but they're in a sidebar. So um, I um, honestly, I would prefer it if you just went with me only because I'm, I'm, af- I'm afraid of the, the council is a lot different since you last left it. There's a lot of um, fragmentation and people aren't united. And I was hoping that, I mean, you have always been the uniter back home. I, I know that I was in a couple of classes below you, and so you might not even remember me at all. No, I totally remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally, <laughs> totally remember. But um, I was sent here because I looked up to you and I vouched for you. And I, I know that there are some people who, when you left, decided to let you leave forever. But me and the rest of us, we never gave up hope that one day you'd come back and one day you would help us in our hour of need. And that might be now. Okay. Um. Okay, tell you what, I'll go for the week. Okay, but that's all I can promise. Perfect. Just, just scope it out, see how it is, and then, and then come back if if you don't feel like you're up for the job or if it's too much for you to handle. Okay. Well, I don't know if it'd be too much. No, for if me it's to like handle. too I mean, scary, it's not gonna be very or scary. Or like if you're too afraid, I'm not gonna be afraid of at anything. All. No, you just I'm let knock, me knock. know. No, check and it out. I this, will... this character right here, this yeah. little action figure, does not get. Yeah. <laughs> look at, look at. His arms go all the way around. <laughs> oh got this karate action grip yes. going on. Yeah. A lot of degrees of freedom. Look at, look at, look at, him, look at him kick. No. Oh. <laughs> Can't even do that in real life. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I just want to turn to the party and let them know. Like, I'm just gonna go for a week, and right. I'll be I'll be right back. I think Won't it take my, a week to my, get there? My, my clan needs me. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna take a week to get there. Well, did 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 you ask her if we could come with you? Yeah, it seemed like. It was a no-go on a full party bring. Mm. But when you think about it, they do know of our adventures, and why can't we just leverage that, you know, Knock Knock has this big group with him that he may need to have with him. That's true. Oh, so we could get, like, an additional squad, you say? Yeah, we could be his bodyguards. <laughs> oh, okay. show bodyguards. Why does everyone think I need bodyguards <laughs> and I'm afraid of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I have an action <laughs> I have an action figure, guys. Um, People have heard of me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I don't like it, but you know, this is like this is your clan. So. I'm just gonna go, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Just uh, let us. Well, signal. We'll let, yeah, I'm we like, need a signal in case you're in trouble. Oh, like a like a like a cool song. Yeah. Or a rap. <laughs> yes, we, it should, has to be a rap. What? We, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but how would I send that rap? rap? Yeah, how would he send the rap? Are you saying I have to produce a song, make it popular, and then you guys hear it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we gotta hear it on the radio. Smoke. Smoke. Oh, well, um, yeah, no, I don't think we can have. I mean, there's no. I don't think anyone has any like. I can send a messenger bird. I can do okay. something like that. You can send a raven. I can send a yeah. raven, right? Yeah, that's still a thing. That's still a thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Um. G- g- good. Good luck, and then I kind of like lean into him. Uh, I want to try to whisper something that Laura does not. Well, I'm I'm, I'm gonna call you over. Okay, because because I'm uh, I, gotta I do another sidebar. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, totally understandable. So sorry. All right, no, no worries. I'm just gonna hang out with this fox. That's yeah, big yeah. giant fox. All right, knock knock. Hey, what's going on? Watch your back, man. Oh, I'm gonna watch my. Back I just more. don't trust her 100. percent Really? I really don't. She seems a little too spunky, a little too energetic. Okay, don't I know it? I mean, I gotta go. Uh, wow. oh, man. <laughs> no, no, that just confirm your theory. No, 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 I, I just turn around and <laughs> confirm your uh, yeah. theory with Ren. <laughs> 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 you won't believe what Knock Knock just said. <laughs> <laughs> while, right. while that is happening, <clears throat> Perrin uh, goes over to Alora, mm-hmm. and um, he casts Zone of Truth. Wow. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so Alora needs to roll a sixteen, a charisma check. A sixteen. Uh, no, she fails. Alora. Yeah. My pretty urchin. I have a home. 
I have a question. So I know last season there was a like discussion about Zone of Truth, and we decided that it was like kind of like the the uh, Wonder Woman lasso, where you're forced to. Yeah. Are we back to mm -hmm. it being this sort of duplicit, like where you can avoid? You can the so truth so according thing? to according to the rules that you can find in D and D Beyond. I mean, it's up to Serena, but when yeah. You're, <laughs> yeah when, you're, when you're looking for things, um, so the. Uh, the character knows that Zone of Truth has been cast and they can try and avoid to tell the truth. But can't lie. But, but can't, can't lie. But cannot lie. So it's like yeah. a live omission kind of? They can leave things out? They can try and leave things out. But, oh, I think but, that's what it is, yeah. Right. If you don't ask exactly, exactly what you exactly want. Exactly. Okay. Right. I, I just yeah. want to make sure. They don't, they don't have to divulge can. information, right. but yeah. they have to answer. But it also depends right. on the character. If the character just loves telling the truth, okay. then <laughs> oversharing is going to happen. Right. So, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Oh, I just want to make sure. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Laura, yes. why, why were you the one that was sent to come and get Knock Knock? You obviously don't know him. I'm his biggest fan. Um, I actually have been um, part of the the, the scouting, um, I don't know, group that um, sort of just makes sure that he isn't in trouble or in danger. We're basically his guardian angels, and we've been watching him this whole time. So you wouldn't allow any harm to come to Nana? Oh, my God. If he were to be harmed, I would be harmed. It would hurt me so much. Very well. So you will look after him then? Absolutely. Yeah. That was previously unknown. So now, Perrin Underbow feels okay with not Are you knocking. hungry? I'm hungry. Perrin's normally very hungry. <laughs> would you like some food? Like yes, I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> Bounce back. Yes. <laughs> Unseen servant. <laughs> so Unseen she notice Sully's glaring at her. Right. Yeah, she does, and she kind of like um, shrinks a little. Like she doesn't know why this person's upset at her. Not upset, but she's just like. Mm. Yeah, but she does. She's also. I imagine that she's very sheltered too. She's only really lived in the clan and um, has worked in those small groups. So some social cues. I don't know if she like understands <laughs> so um well um if it's okay i'd like to go and if you if you in a week one week one week one week that's Perfect. all you get great that's enough okay okay let's go all right let's go all right knock knock see you later i guess i'll see you guys later hopefully see we'll you. see you later what does that mean you guys keep looking at each other See, <laughs> that's real weird. Nothing. I don't nothing, like any of this. Nothing. Just, I don't just, like this. Just fill us in when you come yeah. back. Right? I'm, I'm like imagining like in uh, Winter Soldier when, when, when uh, Captain America kissed. Uh, I forgot her name and like. And I forgot. Yeah, I, I like how you pronounce it like that was her name. Right? That is her name. When he kissed, I forgot her name. I, I forgot her name because it took her out of the story. Um, and uh, oh, uh, Fal what's her agent Falcon. card? Is yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Revenge. And, and, yeah, yeah. And yeah, revenge. From the yeah. show Revenge. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yes. Revenge. Wow, that was awesome. Yes. Um, revenge is her name. <laughs> awful show. And. and, and Hush and and uh, but Bucky and Falcon were like in the back seat of the yeah. car, <laughs> nodding their heads. Like, yeah, that's what I'm imagining. Nice. Yes, yeah, Rin and I are looking at you like. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, knock knock, and Alora walk off together, hand, hand in hand. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. if they want. Oh, yeah. Do you want to be hand in hand? There's nothing wrong with holding yeah. hands. There's oh. nothing holding hands. wrong with holding I'm hands. Not saying Our narrative is getting banned yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Just reading into yes. it. Well, I'm Connecting writing the fanfic. I'm yeah. writing the fanfic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 For sure. All right. So, um, after uh, saying goodbye to Knock Knock, your party heads to the address listed in the letter, um, and you approach... As you find the address, um, you approach a manor, and it is very old. It's a big, uh, the weeds and hedges in the front are overgrown and neglected. Um, the manor itself looks uh, broken and like it just like un untended to, essentially. Um, 
And from the back, as you're approaching, you hear a blood curdling scream. Oh. Like in the back of the manor. Mm-hmm. And like we're, we're in the front. Yep. You're, you're appro- like, I see you, you're like walking towards the door. And as you're approaching the door, you hear just like this screeching sound that just brings um, like a chill up your spine. Okay. Um, is Chash with us? Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to like send. Well, I want to send <laughs> Chash to like scout <clears throat> to run around in the back. Well, she can't like communicate with us. So. All right. Uh, while they're debating, Salise is just gonna go kick in the door. Oh. So <laughs> the door. Okay. So okay. <laughs> well, you all are like, oh, what do we do? Let's just, like murder. Yeah. 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 You just like five over. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y'all are just like. Hey, <laughs> I have probable cause. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll need a warrant. <laughs> I don't need a warrant. Uh, You're making too much noise. <laughs> uh, 19. 19. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you slam open the door. You almost like knock it completely off its hinges, but instead you <laughs> smash it open and like the um, handle of the door slams and uh, uh, smacks against the wall on the other side. So mm. it makes this loud bang sound so can do it once i do that is it dark in there can i see where the scream came from or tell uh, better i need everyone to roll me a perception okay 16 16 19 19 16 yeah 23 wow wow very perceptive okay. we saw through the house <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, like, everything's here <laughs> I got suspicions. I can totally just see Salise like hands on him. Who's in here? Yeah. I got suspicions. <laughs> yeah, this is Ow. yeah, this, this is like Reno nine one not nine one one. This is, this is a bad cop. That's what it was. She's not a cop, but someone is uh, screaming. She doesn't uh, want them to yes. die. Remember, I'm the power. As you all walk into the manor, you notice um, that the inside is much nicer than the outside. There's several uh, torches lit and um, Rin, you you smell like the smell of like cooked food, like it, like know. a meal. OK. And um, from the corner of your eye, you're the only one who caught it. Um, you see someone um, very briefly walk through um, like a passageway. So like there's like a big entryway and then there's like a hall and someone walks past it. Oh, yeah. That would creep me out in the first place. Yeah. Um, hey, guys. Someone someone's here. Someone someone just like pff, like pff. you mean ran. Yeah, that's the word. Like they ran. But it was like a pff, real quickly. Uh, Perrin Perrin. Doesn't get frightened. Yeah. So Perrin says, leave this to me. Okay. And he'll, he's going to stealthily walk around the corner. So I'm okay. Stealth. Go ahead and roll stealth. All right. Uh, that is a 23. 23. Mm. Oh, 22. 22. Ninja. <laughs> 22. Okay. Yeah. Um, as you're creeping around, um, you're not making any sound. Your, your footprints or your footsteps are just silent as right. you're plodding through the house you turn the corner and to your left you see uh someone who looks sort of familiar to you really from the back you uh go ahead and roll me a history uh yeah 22 i like 22 wow. right. mm. double deuces, double deuces. <laughs> <laughs> that deuce deuce <laughs> um yeah, someone very, very familiar. He whips around, and you see the face of. Oh, hey, it's Baron. <laughs> What's going oh on? <laughs> Wait, is is this Dirty D? Dirty D, the dirtiest of D's. Uh, as as oh soon as I God. hear Dirty D, I turn around and walk out. <laughs> I, walk, I walk out of the manor. He's like, I had my suspicions. <laughs> I, I, just, I walk out the manor. So it's just like puts her sword and shield away like, what's this old home week? What? Was that you screaming? Oh, yes. I burned my souffle. Oh, let me get you, this. Hold on. 
You scream like that over a souffle? Oh, yeah. It's very important. I've been trying to get this recipe right for so long. Oh, it's so good to see you, you guys. Because. What? I, I was, should smite you just because. I mean, I was in my own property and uh, just like hanging out. I feel like, what, what happened to that door over there? Don't worry about that. We thought someone was <laughs> Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We thought someone was dying in here. Oh, no. I, I, I mean, I'd be dying of uh, sadness if I burned another one. <laughs> so he's just like gives him like the dirtiest look and the finger and just walks out. <laughs> um, as Elise walks out, um, I'm saying like you are turning the corner to leave and you are met with a duo who is wearing a all white like gown um, and carrying a lamp. Uh, uh. He, oh, you got my, you, oh no. <laughs> I was practicing and then I didn't know how to do it. Oh, uh, I, I, you got, you got my letter? You, d- you sent that letter? Oh yeah, this is my place now. So hold oh. The, who's in the kitchen screaming about souffles? Oh, that's, that's Robbie. He's my best customer. He lives on the, the second floor here. Yeah, he's helping me with my haunting skills. That's what that's what this is. I'm I'm I'm, I'm practicing. Please. She's just looking at him like she wants to punt him All across right, so, the room. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I hear duo for the first time in a really long time because I haven't seen him in a very long time. Yeah. So so this makes me go back in the house and like I'm like duo. I had I haven't seen you in a while, man. What's up? Oh, uh, Shaka, I'm so happy to see everyone. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about my life's purpose. You know, my afterlife's purpose, what I want to do. Your afterlife's purpose? My afterlife's purpose. I've been thinking a lot about it, you know. And What do you mean, your afterlife? So I was thinking if I'm going to be a ghost, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rent out a hotel, a tavern, and a manor, and I'm going to haunt it. All I'm right. gonna haunt it real good. Apparently, I've missed a lot, so I look around to the, <laughs> to the rest of the party, and I'm like, I'm just like, <laughs> like uh, Ren. so. Duo's oh. not dead. Thing two. D- Thing two. Wait. Oh. You are not dead. No, I died. Remember when when I turned into a werewolf and then you kill me? That's when I died. Well, but that was just a dream. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, I converted this place into um, a scare B and B. When people get here, I can scare them. That's pretty good. Uh, this is a great, so great dad just Oh lord, <laughs> scare B and B. Scare B and B. Um, but I was thinking, you know, if if. If you guys are going to be around and stuff, you could live here with me and, and I can take care of you because I'm not really good at battles and, and taking care of you that way. I'm, I'm kind of weak and definitely dead now, so I would be not good in a fight. But if you guys wanted to live here, it's better than that living in the floor in the old safe house. The warehouse is all sticky and stuff. So I thought maybe you would like to have a nice room here in the hotel and... um. And I have, you know, there's like 15 bedrooms. You, uh, and, and, and if you wanted to stay, uh, Robbie and I, we, we made you guys your rooms. If you wanted, if you wanted to like stay over the weekends or something too, that's fine. But there's a mint on every pillow, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a jelly mint. Uh, red that's my name. <laughs> Robbie Jelly Mint. Right. You guys get that, right? So I, I was gonna say. Uh, Dirty D. Um, Shaka. <laughs> 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 How you been? Are you, are you still teaching? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Uh, apparently waiting for you for all those months in a bar uh, was not good. My union <laughs> dropped me like <laughs> so quickly. and uh, But it's okay, it's okay. Got a new lease on life. Uh, my wife left me, so I'm a bachelor now. I got my own bachelor pad upstairs. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, so we you want us to live with both of you. <gasps> Yay. That's They're going to live that's with a question. Yay. That is an interesting yes. that's a question. Oh, no. Uh, you know, if you wanted to, I wouldn't charge you rent or nothing. You, you know, I, um, you guys are my, my family, so that's why I, I made it for you. 
you know, if you wanted to stay. No big deal if you don't, though. It's no big deal. Well, I want to stay because I already have managerial experience in, <laughs> in taverns. Oh, you want right. to walk here, too? How much are you willing to pay? Well, I don't know. It depends on how much we make. I think we could work it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I think this is a great idea. We're like putting my skills yeah. to work and like, you know, all those times I was running in and out of like, yeah. you know, uh, night zone, all that stuff, <laughs> craziness. I want to put it to work. I want to feel like I'm being a part of society <laughs> and giving yeah. back to, to, to the world, you know? I really want to do that. Yeah, How, you could be the face of the company if I you mean, wanted to be, you know? I, I would, I, I'm okay with that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. How's the bath? Oh, there's, the uh, bath we have about... Uh, five baths available. Fifteen <laughs> rooms and five baths. Oh my god, that's not very many. Okay, red that's hot. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, so the rest of showers. Like the rest of showers. There's showers. There's so many showers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there's <a> showers. <laughs> They're just like showers in the middle of rooms. <laughs> it's like the sprinkler system. A mixed up person really built this, but that's okay. All right. Well. Um, uh, um, where, where, where's the location uh, of this manor? Is it in kind of like a? Is it in a better location than our? So the location of it, you what you know about? Um, go ahead and roll me um, a history, and all of you, if you want to know about where you are and anything you've heard about this manor. Fifteen. Twelve. 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 Okay, so um, everyone <laughs> <laughs> got really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, Lisa, Lisa's uh, forgotten everything. <laughs> um, so all um, you know that you are in um, Troll Skull Alley, Ooh, and yeah. it's sort of um, almost a forgotten place in Waterdeep. It's um, it doesn't really have a ton of excuse me. Um, traffic or people going there it used to be like a hot spot and like a like a good um neighborhood in the city but recently a lot of people have just moved out and um and it could be because the manor where you are is rumored to be haunted and so you would know um Mm. since you rolled the highest that um it's rumored to be haunted and that um and there's just like several scary Amityville horror type stories about it, but you don't know how much of that is true or how much of that is made up to be sensational. Okay. Perhaps my group is unaware, but I believe we're in Troll Skull Manor. Mm. The infamous Troll Skull Manor is one of the only places in Waterdeep that has not heard. The wonderful singings of Perinandabo. Perhaps I, this could be a good place. Yeah. Like, uh, we could have a permanent residence here in Trollskull Manor. Like concerts? Yes, and people can come from all over the realm. So the place we sleep is going to be a concert hall, is what you're saying? Well, Yes. Well, there's a lounge and a bar in the corner. There is a lounge and a bar in the corner. It's right. He's exactly mm-hmm. right. I mean, I think this looks in better than where we were before. I think it. Uh, yeah, I remember that place. That place was real sticky. The floors, you know, like, and there was like a wet corner that was always wet. Oh, <laughs> sticky <laughs> floors and wet corners. Yeah. Very wet. <laughs> it was just always wet, and I never knew why. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down, y'all. That I'm is down. weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why either. You think one would cancel the other out after a while? You think the dry corner would like? Yeah, you think the wet corner would, would turn into a dry corner eventually, or be sticky eventually? No, and but vice it was versa. just wet. Yeah, it was always wet. Right, and you I'm think just... the wet part would clean up the sticky part? But that never happened either. I'm I'm looking at them while you guys are talking. Uh, I'm just like, are we sure that we can deal with these two? Y- and and and, uh, and you'd also have um your own rooms and stuff, and I can show you the way. There's the four floors of the place, so if you you decide you don't like the room you're staying in, then we can put you in a different floor or like a different place. You know, like I don't know how you feel about like the energy in the room, and like if you need your furniture moved at a certain place. You've been watching HGTV. <laughs> 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 I've done a lot of thinking. Like, wow. <laughs> it's like a duel really got into feng shui, guys. I know. I'm like talking about the energy of the room. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm down, y'all. I, th- I think we need a change of pace and a new place. Um, are, are y'all down for this? 
this is perfect for me. Yeah. I, I really missed an opportunity for a good PE. I know. <laughs> yeah. you, Sorry. You've, you've missed some. Um, <laughs> and uh, are you down with this, Elise? Grudgingly. Yeah. Good. Let's make a housing decision while Knock Knock is not here and let's say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Move this stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think we should do it. And then I feel like Red comes up to Shock is like, all right, here you go. Start cleaning the floors over there. <laughs> wow. All right, Spirit, I want you over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You gotta oh, call you'll me. be fine. I'll t- you're taken care of. But yeah, let's start getting this place clean up, everybody. Chop, chop. We're going to open up pretty soon. No, no. Wow, he's really shaping up the joint. <laughs> no, We're going to have a, 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 so a classy joint. Like, and who put you in charge? Oh, he called it. Yeah, he's he called dude, dibs right dude. away. We're not gambling. He doesn't get to call shots. I don't know. Dib seems to be universal. I mean, the <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I respect that. He's taking charge. Somebody's got to. I respect it. I respect it. And, like, and I, this I, is I, why I, I said grudgingly. <laughs> All right. Um, so Duo gives you um, a kind of a brief um, tour. Um, he mostly just shows you to your rooms um, and says that he's going to be um, downstairs haunting. <laughs> professional haunter yeah um so i want to go like room by room and just see kind of what you you see in your room okay. yeah so shaka when you go into your room on your bed um which is like crisp white linens gold curtains it has a large uh, bed with a desk and on the desk is a fresh um, piece of parchment ink and quill mm-hmm. um, on your bed you find a, a, a it looks just like folded armor and a letter on it okay. all right I want to read that letter Ooh. Oh, 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 there it is <laughs> oh, I don't even know when you minute. made that. I, mean, I know one was knows. Pre- pleasantly unsuspecting. <laughs> of that, of oh, that letter. Yeah. You are starting the season on a very mm-hmm. high bar. So really good. <laughs> well, uh, for anyone it? listening to the podcast, we just hand yes. it uh, Shiri, uh parchment paper that's yes. like with his own little like the seal seal yeah. on it and oh, everything. God. Yeah. Um, so yeah. as you're reading it, I'm going to read it out loud for okay. everyone. Um, Dear Shaka. Thank you and your friends so much for helping me and making my mind whole. If it weren't for your bravery, I would be still wandering the depths of hell. You've taught me so much about courage and friendship in a short amount of time. Parents' bravery is proudly unbeatable. Knock Knock's humor and joy are infectious, and you, you, you and I seem to share a spirit. As I thank you, I want to give you this armor, but as a pledge to you, I want to offer my protection. If you accept my armor and wear my sigil, I will grant you celestial powers. In exchange, I need you to vow to always protect those in need and guide those who are lost towards the sunshine. And if you can, help Fluffy, I mean Ash, find their truth selves again. Love and Stardust, Kagoya. P.S. Tell Celise that she's be- very beautiful when she fights. Shock has got a new patron. Let me also say, uh, for the audio, audio listeners as well, as a callback to last season, there is an emoticon face, not an emoji face. There's just oh, emoticon yeah. smiley face. Oh, <laughs> wow. K- K- Kagoya gets me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> she gets me. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I, um, yeah, I mean, I read this and I basically start to um, start to tear up because... You know, um, I had kind of gotten sadly used to being just this patronless, not even knowing what I am anymore. Um, So the fact that, you know, that she is saying she'll offer the protection is I'm basically looking for the sigil and how I need to wear it and and what I need to do. So I want to check out this armor. Um, Okay. Can I roll an investigation? Yeah, roll an investigation. Uh, 15. 15. Sorry, 16. 16. Mm-hmm. So the armor is um, a beautiful, uh, it's lighter than you thought. When you're looking at it, it looks pretty dense and heavy, but you can tell it's actually woven with a, um, a gold and um, platinum um, 
a breastplate kind of like it's um, it's woven and on the sigil, like on the collarbones, you see um, two crescent moons that are um, <clears throat> have wings coming out of them mm. to represent um, the celestial moon is the symbol. Sweet. And um, when you hold it, you feel this sense of peace. So, um, you know, running around and doing so much, I think that you haven't felt this feeling in a really long time. And it almost feels like when you put it on, you're at home. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to kind of like kneel and basically uh, silently weep. I don't want other people to hear me, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely uh, <clears throat> weeping with happiness because I feel like I have a new purpose, yeah. which so, I haven't felt in a very long time. So as you kneel and your um, your tears hit the, the floor below you, um, they start to emit this um, glowing light and you feel a, a rush of celestial power enter your body mm. and um, Kogoya has received your acceptance and now you are a warlock of the celestial. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Nice. Season over. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. You hear a knock at the door? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Are we wearing cool armor now? Is that what we're doing? Okay, I'm doing whatever I think is like a uh, like a catwalk. <laughs> 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 yeah, I want to kind of show this off, so I am kind of like Whoa. walking, and then I give like that serious look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blue steel and, right at me. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, because I'm super proud. Like I'm, it's the same look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud. So, 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 like I actually go up to uh, Dirty D and I give him a hug. What? Oh, what? Oh, oh, my give him a hug. oh my god! I'm, 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 I'm just like this is one of the happiest moments of my life. It's one of mine too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> cut to <laughs> um, cut to Celise entering her room. Uh, her room has um, blue covers with a silver floral threading, a place for weapons, and a, with a handwritten sign that says "Weapons go here." And <laughs> and um, on her and there's like a small little like um, love seat in her room as well. And on that love seat is a bath caddy full of soaps, shampoos, and if you look closely, the little soaps have uh, Duo's profile like etched in. <laughs> 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 what do they smell like? Um, roll me. I don't know. Roll me a perception. Oh my god. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, you are picking up all of the the scents, and it is um, one of them is just like a warm vanilla cocoa butter smell. So it's like uh, very comforting, relaxing. Another one is like a lavender chamomile. So it's like herbal and um, good for sleep. You'll know. And one is citrusy, and it's like an energetic smell. Okay. So um, as you're enjoying all of the the fineries that duo has left you <laughs> to make your place feel like home you hear a small little voice it goes what are you doing and i look around for the voice like is it duo like uh roll me a perception nat 20 mm -hmm. it is coming directly from you <gasps> Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> I got confused fast. <laughs> so she, she reaches up and, uh -huh. and feels for the ring that she always keeps on her. And it's a little warm and she feels mm -hmm. it vibrate. Mm -hmm. I can't I, see when you do that. Yeah. Um, what do you mean you can't see? Y your ring. Well, I'm, I'm talking to a ring. Well, I'm part of you. Part of things you care about. Y your ring. How come you've never talked before? <laughs> I didn't have a need to talk before. And you weren't in a position to hear me before. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so Celise, like, <laughs> takes the, like, unclasps the chains, like, kind of holds it up and stares mm -hmm. at it. So has the ring changed at all since she normally wears it? Um, so the ring has your, um, your sigil on it, correct? Yeah. So describe how the ring normally looks. 
So the ring is think of like a a wedding band, almost like a tungsten type band mm-hmm. that has a another band in the middle, so she kind of almost fidget with it, mm-hmm. and that and the rune of tears engraved in that part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's almost like a blue steel, but it's faded because she always keeps it like under. Okay, but it like right now it looks very it looks very bright, almost like the day that. It was put on her hand. Yeah. And as she hears the voice, it, it vibrates a little bit. Yeah. And um, I can see like the the sigil of tear sort of um, glint anytime the voice comes from the ring. Okay, good. If it had a mouth, I'd be like, nope. No, no, no. <laughs> no mouth. <laughs> I'm not trying to creep you out. She's <laughs> like, nope. Time goes <laughs> and cursed. <laughs> um, so, so Sleece is just like, this is because we went to Avernus, isn't it? Bingo. You mean all this time you've been with me and you could never, you, you just didn't talk. I had to go to hell for you to talk to me. <laughs> well, going to hell was kind of, it was kind of traumatic for both of us. Uh, yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm talking to a ring. This can't be happening. What? So she like just puts it on the bed like, <sighs> why now? <laughs> Because you need help, Celise. See, you, you've you strayed so far from your path. And I just, I want you to find the good parts of you that you hide from other people. I can help. You just have to listen to me. I have lost my entire mind. What happened to me? Is this real? Did I die? You're not Is- dead. Are you sure? Is this not my version of hell? Mm. <laughs> it's this duo walking past the door at the time. I'm the dead yeah, one. It's like, under, dead it's dead like under a sheet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's doing full on ghost. Yeah, with, like, yeah, with the holes. Cut out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shut up, dude. <laughs> he has chains. He's right. like right. dragging right. his yeah. chains. Dragging his chains. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm just like, so Celise is just like wondering, going, no. I'm cracking up. No, no. Something happened. This isn't real. It's, it's real. But don't be scared. I'm not scared. I'm just wondering when I finally lost my mind. <laughs> um, we're going to cut to... So Lisa's putting lipstick on <laughs> And we're cutting away. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Um, we're going to cut to, uh, Rin, who in his room has a, um, an enormous walk-in closet, uh, full of so (laughs) many other people's clothes. Um, because you have to remember, like, Duo's getting you these things, how he's getting them, you know, (laughs) it's not not important. (laughs) It's not important. (laughs) Um, so yeah, the, um, beautiful silk bed sheets that look like they're spun with gold and um, and a, like a big um, another like wardrobe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I can see Ren walking around, mm-hmm. and he's just like, he really knows my taste very well. He's like <laughs> touching the beds, like, oh, that's real, that's real, that's real. <laughs> he like walks in the closet, and he's just like staring at it. And he's just like, this is no one's ever treated me this good before. Like. I just, I don't know what to say. Like, can he, like, go and find Duo? Like, Mm -hmm. walk out of the room? He absolutely can. Okay, all right. Um, And Duo isn't very far from you. He's, like, on your floor, but he's, like, wandering the halls. (laughs) <laughs> so, he's in the sheet yeah. with his lantern just <laughs> his, his chains <laughs> like, um, <laughs> do all, can, can, oh. can you stop for one second from haunting people yeah 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 and puts it from under him puts down his chain puts and his lamp tag back on <laughs> Joe Alley Manor name tag <laughs> fix his vest <laughs> I just want to say that this is the most beautiful thing. Oh, wait, and he like gets really quiet. Just don't tell us to anybody else. Oh, but this yeah. is the most beautiful thing that someone's ever done for me. Don't tell Celise I said that. I, um, I heard you. Uh, <laughs> this is the most beautiful thing that someone's done for me in the last 
five minutes. <laughs> but thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. I'm going to work very hard for this, yeah. this establishment. I'm going to make sure we're making money. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make sure that uh, Shaka's cleaning the floors. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's a part of. Oh, oh we're gonna okay. we're gonna make things happen. Oh, okay. And then, uh, Karen's gonna be on time because it's usually late, oh, yeah. and you know, Celise is gonna on be taken care of. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I want to say thank you and my appreciation for this gift of of great sheets and and clothing. Yeah, I just I, wanted to do a good job because because I thought that maybe you like it. You know, I I listen to you guys when you talk and and I wanted to tweet you. I I and he's gonna like kind of walk into the room. Um, your room. Yeah. And um, he's going through like the clothes. He's like, oh, uh, this one I got off of this guy. He wasn't looking and I stole his whole suit. From from like, the back of his, oh, his butt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, when you're walking around not looking at your suit, <laughs> like, no, and then all of a sudden it's your God. suit's off your body. No, in the back of his car. He had a bunch of suits in the back of his car and I took it. I just imagine Drew with like a plus 20 like slider head. Yeah, Drew's slider head is ridiculous. Oh Where did my suit go? <laughs> I just wear it. I was just wearing. Harold, you should have been watching your suit. <laughs> Don't you hate when you're not oh, watching your suit and it just disappears? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I love it. This, this, um, is, this, is, this is great. I appreciate <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Okay. Uh, no, that, that's, that's great. If you find any more suits or, like, just let me know. Okay. Yeah. I'll be the first to take them. Everybody else, don't worry about them. I'll, I'll do it. I'll okay. take it. Yeah. That sounds good. And um, as Duo, he's, like, in your closet. Are you in the walk-in closet with them? Oh, yeah, because, yeah, we're looking at the clothes. Because we're all looking yeah, at the stuff. Yeah. Um, outside of the walk-in closet, you hear, a, like, a ribbit, ribbit. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, yeah, I probably have to. There's, we've been having a lot of fog problems. I got to go kill it now. No, no, what? no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. I, I will, I will, I will, I will get it. Don't worry. I, I will I will take care no, of it. No, are you sure? I could just go ahead no, and stomp no, it. No, 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 <laughs> we no. We can you have guys, a, you uh, guys know when you buy a new property <laughs> and you got frog problems? <laughs> no. No, I don't. You know? <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm assuming Ren is like walking around and trying to find like the sound and he's just like everywhere. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, where is it coming from? Uh, roll me um, an investigation. Oh, okay. Uh, Better hope oh, yeah. it's not Salisa's room. Um, oh, a 20. Nice. Ooh, 20? Yeah. No, no, no. Not oh, natural. Okay. Sadly, I wish. <laughs> so um, you are, you're listening really, really hard and you, you're hearing like the, that flap sound as it's oh. um, going around and you find it um, in the hallway, sort of like under a, um, I don't know, like a pile of like laundry, like towels. Oh. So uh, yeah, you find this frog. Okay. Um, yeah. And then Red picks it up and he's like, hey, little buddy. How, how are you? And it is a fat frog. Oh, it is like a fatty fat frog. It almost oh, looks like a like... toad. It's like this okay. big. Um, and it looks at you and like you can hear it kind of like coughing a little bit. Oh, no. And then. It's got colic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then the um, as um, you're looking at it coughing, it just like clack, clack, clack. Oh, oh no. And Buddy. And you, you're helping it, and it spits out what looks like... Actually, roll me something. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, 15. Wait, what am I rolling? You're rolling an investigation. Oh, okay. So uh, 17. 17. Yeah. So it spits out what looks like your wedding band, your old wedding band. Oh. From your ex. Oh. So... Three-day wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you're like couple-day yeah. marriage. <laughs> well... I I don't know how you got this, but you have to be magic. I threw this away, and and I didn't know that anybody would find it. I'm I'm gonna keep you. We're gonna keep you, and you know I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna name you. Know what the name I'm gonna name you? I'm gonna name you Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> After the lime that's Lee's destroyed, <laughs> <laughs> so now your name is Gary the Frog. In memory of Gary the Lion. <laughs> so Gary too. <laughs> Gary yeah. too. Yeah. You should actually name Gary the frog too. Gary, Gary the Lion. So you're Gary now Gary too. And I'm gonna hide you because I don't want anybody doing anything to you. And I feel like Ren puts like the frog in like his coat. Okay. Like, 
keeping it. So yeah. as you um, hide the the frog, we're gonna cut to Perrin's room. Oh boy. So um, <laughs> y- your room, um, it's big, lush, and cozy with burgundy curtains on the windows and a couch that reads um, with a little sign that's like handwritten by Duo that reads "Unseen Servant Sleeps Here" and a little arrow. <laughs> um, and you also have a large um, closet, but your closet is, it, it can be for clothes, but it also has a spot for instruments. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Well, <coughs> thing, thing two has really undone himself this time. This is a palace unworthy for someone such as me, but Perrin is very, very happy. There's even a spot for Unseen Servant. This is, well, maybe he is duo after all. Roll me a perception. Uh, I'm perceiving uh, 21. 21. You hear, um, as you're um, saying this, I imagine that you're like in the front of the, um, in the middle of the room and you're surveying yes. everything. You hear um, sort of a rustling um, sound coming from your closet. Perrin walks towards the closet. And um, as you, from in my mind, your closet doesn't have a door no. either. It has a, a curtain. curtain. Yeah, course, right. It has a course. curtain. <laughs> Perfect. Great. <laughs> 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 so as you um, pull back the curtain, yes. you see um, a half elf who is carrying luggage. And he goes, oh, God. Ugh. You scared the life out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was changing rooms right now. This room is yours. Uh, it was mine. Now it's yours. Wait, you had this room? I did. Yeah, for a long time. And uh, now you don't. No, no, it's cool. I'm going to be closer to my place of work, which is the tavern. So I'm going to be moving rooms so I can kind of like look at it from my window. Are you a purveyor of underdwellings? Fear of underdwellings. I don't sell homes, no. But I am a bartender. Yeah. Ew. Oh God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, my name is uh, Leaf. Leaf. Yeah, Leaf. Nice to meet a you. A Leaf or a Leaf? It's L I F. Oh, yeah. L I F. Leaf. Leaf. I like Leaf better. Leaf. It's nicer leaf. to say. It comes yes. out of the mouth. It does. It does actually yeah, kind of yeah. feel a little bit. Yes. So, uh, Leaf, you were here. Yeah. But now you will be there. There on uh, the second floor. The second floor. In the room, looking out towards the tavern. Towards the That's tavern. That's me. Yeah. Well, allow me to perhaps buy you a drink. Oh, well, wow. Well, maybe I would just be making you do the work, wouldn't I be? Well, no, I, I love, uh, to be honest, I know we just met, but uh, like oh, running and owning that tavern is my life's work. I yes. love it. Uh, if you guys, oh, we haven't had like a lot of customers. Like this place has been in a real downward spiral. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you wanted to come, I, I promise, you know, a nice meal, uh, some drinks. If you wanted to bring flowers to like decorate the place too or something, that would be cool because you live here now. Perhaps. Uh, perhaps maybe uh, Perrin, Perrin Underbow is in the name, as, as you may know. Perhaps Perrin can decorate it with song. Oh, that's that would be amazing. As I yeah. am the bard extraordinaire. Oh, yes. oh, you're a bard. I am. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yes. your well, your outfit is nice. Well, thank you, thank you very much. You've never heard of <laughs> <laughs> no, not not ever. No. Oh, well, perhaps you should. Yeah, I, I, perhaps I will when you come sing at my tavern. Well, right. Very well. Then cool. you will be buying the drinks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, and so, uh, Leaf, uh, kind of gives you an excited wave and, uh, heads out. Yes. Uh, Perrin tips his hat and bows a little mm-hmm. and he says goodbye to Leaf. Okay. And he sits and he, he actually runs and he kind of jumps on his bed and he makes oh, like yeah. snow angels on his bed. <laughs> parents kind of happy with, with these things. Like, you know, like he's also the little boy from blank check. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of is. <laughs> um, awesome. So, and everyone's acclimated to their room. Yes. 
Um, would anyone like to do anything before dinner? Um, yes. Perrin would like to explore the rest of the tavern. So we are, mm -hmm. so if Leaf is on the second floor, I assume that we're on the third floor mm -hmm. then. Is everyone on the same floor? Mm -hmm. uh, are there stairs that go up or down? Mm -hmm. I would imagine, since this is Troll Skull Manor, yeah. that there is there is like uh, a perch or some place where you can look out and kind of survey. Oh yeah, like a rooftop. Yes. 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 There's um a balcony area. Oh okay. That you can go up. It's um on the top and actually. Um, there is one that's sort of like a harder to reach spot. So it's like um, you can tell it's when people like go and clean the chimneys. Sure. That's like their um, place. So you can like sit on top of the roof if right. you want, or you can um, sit on this like kind of rooftop balcony area. Perrin's going for the very tippy top, top, top. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. uh, so he can kind of survey the area. Okay. Is, it, is there any difficulty? Uh, Do I yeah, need to... I'm actually, because um, the tippy tippy top is hard to get to, I'm going to have sure. you roll a dexterity. Or an athletics, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, so acrobatics? Yes. That's or what athletics. It is. Athletics. Sure. athletics. Athletics, 11. Okay. Um, so you get kind of winded, like halfway through, um, but you manage to make it to the top. Uh, and but it's not like a fun climb. Uh, <laughs> so this was uh, particularly unwell timing and thinking on my part. <laughs> Perhaps I need to do some more calisthenics. <laughs> um, roll me a perception. Um, perception unlimited. 25. Oh my gosh. All right. So as your, um, your <coughs> breath is heaving from, um, the workout it took to get to the top, you're sitting on the roof and you notice like this, um, the nice breeze hit you and a wave of serenity. And you're seeing the, um, the skyline of water deep and the sun is setting behind the building. So it is, um, silhouetting those buildings and you look down and you see that, uh, Troll Skull Manor is a lot bigger than it seems like the, the building is there, but, um, there is this tiny, um, tavern like connected to it. Right. Um, and there is, um, a, a couple of like empty, um, maybe empty buildings towards it or uh, buildings that also look like they're in disrepair. So sure. it's this whole area of, um, that just seems like it was forgotten. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. This neighborhood looks particularly unwell. Perhaps we should. Get some regentrification going. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Dirty D is in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's, he's making the food for tonight. He's yeah. making some fish tacos. Um, he is also like, um, like making his own salsa and, um, like he's made his own spot in the kitchen mm -hmm. where, you know, he has all his, uh, fresh, uh, veggies and plants and herbs and all that. Um, and you could see him like kind of like grow stuff a little quick and like pick it off and then like add it and then like chop it up. And you know, the vines kind of come to him and he like picks it up and you know, chops and all that stuff. I'm making fish tacos guys. <laughs> what kind of fish? Uh, it's tilapia, but it's, it's, it's fresh. Sweet. Um, is Dua helping you in the kitchen too? Or are you by yourself? I think I'm by myself. I okay. don't know if I'm, I, I think or duo comes in and out, but yeah. like, he's, he's definitely not helping me. <laughs> so, yeah. um, ghost don't need. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ghost don't need to eat. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm so hungry. Um, yeah. So as you're cooking, um, you notice like, um, are you, do you, because you're working with plants, is the door open or closed? Is the window open or closed? Is what open? Windows in the kitchen open or closed? Is it a nice day out? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's open. Great. Um, roll me a perception. Okay. <laughs> uh, 11. 11. So um, 
you see like the little tiny paws, um, tiny paws kind of creep open or creep through the window a little bit. And they just look like, look like little hands. Um, and someone is, you see like the furry gray and black um, arm trying to grab some, like some of your food that you're cooking. Is this familiar to me at all or no? Uh, roll, uh, history. Uh, 13. It's 100% a raccoon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I'm going to gar- grab a spatula and try to like, smack its hands. Okay. <laughs> My pies! <laughs> I don't know. I just picture pies. Yes. <laughs> this is like the most combat dirty deal. Yeah. <laughs> like- um, so you're trying to smack it with your frying pan, or your not frying pan, spatula? Spatula, yeah. Uh, roll me. Um, <laughs> roll God, I want to roll the hit. <laughs> Roll the head? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to kill this raccoon. We're having raccoon tonight. <laughs> Nat 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you, sm- oh, um, as the raccoon, like, is starting to kind of, like, slurp in. Like, it's trying to, like, because, you know, they're kind of, like, like bean bags. Yeah. Um, slurp. <laughs> slurp. I think you said slurp. Slurp. <laughs> slurp. <laughs> yes. So um, as you smack the raccoon with the spatula, you hit it so hard that you actually bring it in the inside so it's trying to like trying to go out so instead of like pushing it back you like smack it in and Ah! so it tumbles hits the counter hits the floor what are you doing inside here you're so stupid (laughs) you need to get out of here i'm gonna open up the door and try to like kick him out (laughs) and um you're a druid right yeah okay does your do you naturally? Hear oh, stuff? I do. Yeah, I do have speak with animals, so I guess I could uh, cast. I was gonna this. say, do you have to cast that, or is that innate? Uh, I don't know actually offhand. Uh, let me just. I, I think I'm flustered. Okay. Like, in this moment, and just like I'm just yelling at this thing, and it's like it's looking at you confused, and it's like hissing at you, and it's just like trying to like get your food. Listen, we need to settle down here, okay? We both had words. Um, <laughs> you. <laughs> You need to uh, um, just leave. I got friends over. You're going to ruin this for... What do you... Okay, what? You, fish tacos? Uh-huh. Okay, but you're getting the grilled, but not the fried, okay? That's what you're getting. Okay, and I just want to, like, chuck it out the window. And it, like, <clears throat> looks at you and then looks at... It's because it's on the floor, and you chucked it out the window, and I feel like it's, like, window counter floor. I hate you so much. And it's like tr- like trying to get you to pick it up. Oh my god. Uh, why are you why is this side sticky and this side what? Oh, what's wrong with you? Uh, just pick it up and like kind of like push its butt out the window. Uh, uh, some people have boundary issues. Oh Shaka! <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing? <laughs> Did we see all this? I mean if you were anywhere in the kitchen, you at least heard it. So <laughs> you can burst in at any time. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, Ren walks in. And he's like, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just had a little mishap. Um, mm, mm, yeah. Uh, hey, are you hungry? Yeah, what, what are we having for dinner? Okay, I got some fish tacos to start. Okay. Um, and then I have this, like, a uh, uh, Beef ravioli. I don't know if you guys like beef ravioli, um, but then, but then I also, I, yeah, I got some. Um, um, it's just tomatoes and olive oil. I don't know. Some people call that something special. I don't know. I don't really think it is. Um, and then I got birthday cake. Bur- bur- it's someone's birthday somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take the fish tacos. Yeah. Oh. Heck yeah. Uh, and I'm um, just going to prepare a nice plate and Not then like dri- drizzle things. Like, you're okay with this, right? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fine. It's like, it's fine. Uh, make it in, like, oh, look at this. Uh, and it looks all pretty. It's like yeah. plated perfectly. Oh, nice. And like, hand it over. Here you go, sir. Tip, tip. Ah, I'll leave you a little tip. Oh, and, yeah. Like, I'll give him like some gold. Like oh, one wow. gold. Just to be nice. Well, like, wow. there you go. <laughs> Well, thank you for your service today, and I'll slide it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's like the episode of Beavis and Butthead where they have to sell candy bars, and they have one dollar, and they just keep passing it back and eating the bar, passing it back and eating the bar. Beavis and Butthead reference. Do you remember that? Oh. I used to like Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. <laughs> it was alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I, I, I like the music video part out. more than the actual. I hated um, the music video part. Oh, as Celise is in her room freaking out, um, <clears throat> I imagine that the ring was talking and then maybe decided to... It's intermittent, so it's not... You haven't been having a conversation with the ring the whole time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just to, like, for your peace of mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the ring talk, that, that already yeah. messed up the peace of mind. Um, you hear a small... On, on your door. And so she, like, flings it up and... <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Celise, I wanted to tell you how dinner's ready and stuff. You have a really intense look on your face. Is everything okay? No. Why? That, 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 that ring... What, talking to well, me. ring the ring ar- uh, around all uh, that's sitting on your bed right now. Yeah. Why? Why do you have your sword by the ring? Are you trying to slice the ring, or what's going on with the? Wait, what's going? Wait, he's, he's talking. Yeah. You're. I'm dead. Were you gonna say that? <laughs> 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 but you're not. <laughs> I was going to ask you to talk to it, and then I remembered I caught myself. I I can try talking to it if you want. It will make you feel better. Sure. Okay, all right. Uh, And uh, Duo walks um, into your room. He places the ring, and he's concentrating really, really hard. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. It, It seems like a normal ring to me. That's not a normal ring anymore. Oh. You, you can put it down. Okay. So. Do you want to wear it or do, do you want me to put it on your finger or I could put it on a necklace for you or something? Just, if you just, Okay, I'll put it down. Put it on the bed. All right. Thanks. Uh, I'll come to dinner in a minute. Okay. Uh, you know, sometimes um, there's this like legend I or used to hear, you know, about like talking things. Sometimes there's like um, the idea that like there's little spirits that live in every type of thing. Right. A tiny little spirit in everything. So that's why we got to treat our stuff nice, because if we don't treat our stuff nice, a little spirit will come. <laughs> Maria Kondo. Like, yeah, that's right. Pokes <laughs> 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 So maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're communi- communing with that tiny little spirit that lives inside of your ring. I've had this ring for years. It's never happened. Oh. Not until we went to Avernus. Wait, you went to Avernus? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's hell. You know that's hell, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, paladin school. They they taught us that. You guys have a school? Yeah. Wow, I wish there was a school for ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I I could help you be a ghost. Oh yeah? Yeah. How? Come here. Okay. <laughs> like just like so innocently, <laughs> like sure. <laughs> so she wants to like just shake duo so um, bad. And as you have that urge to like shake duo, you um there's a ring on the bed. Yeah. Is it gonna like smack me? It um yeah, it actually, like, um, it falls to the floor. <clears throat> so it doesn't smack you, but, like, you hear the tink, tink, tink of it falling to the floor. Whoa. <laughs> um, I, I, ah, uh, wow. That's some real paranormal stuff, right? Like, it was on the bed, now it's not. Are you scared? Do you have goosebumps? I have goosebumps right You're now. You're the ghost, tell me. I know. Ooh. I have ghost goosebumps. You <laughs> <laughs> think that's a double ghost? <laughs> just, I'm just going to pick up the ring and, and mm-hmm. put it back on and just kind of... Okay. She's wondering, like, she's mentally calculating, like, who among the group she could actually talk to. Mm-hmm. And she's not sure because she's like, I had a thought that was not the nicest thought. And the ring jumped off the bed. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's metal, so it's not like it's going to break or anything. Right. Is it, like, warm or anything kind of like... It's, like, a little... It's a little warm to the touch. Like... Like, it's similar to when you noticed the ring was talking and then you touched it. It's the mm-hmm. same temperature. So go go on, Duo. I'll be there in a minute. Because she wants to, like, talk to the ring but not stand there and look entirely off her neck. Okay. Um, so, once... Duo, does Duo leave? Oh, yeah, Duo just like, it's like, okay, I'm gonna go grab the others. I think uh, Pelwin's on the woof. All right. So she like just kind of like holds it and she's like, why did you do that? You were gonna hurt him. You were, weren't you? I wanted to. You did. 
But I didn't. But you wanted to so badly. Why? I don't understand. Because he's not a ghost. He's annoying. Well, what's annoying about him? You... I was going to say there's not enough time, but you're an inanimate <laughs> object. <laughs> <laughs> just, <clears throat> if you know me, you know why. Just, why now? Well, I don't know. Uh, fate doesn't really choose. Fate just is. And this is, Solis. You and me. Like a buddy cop. Like a, a buddy cop drama. Like, you know, I could, if you put me like in the front seat, it would be like me driving. <laughs> You're a ring. That's right. I am a ring. <laughs> and it's just like buzzing a little. <laughs> so, no one else can hear you. Does anyone walk by? Because she didn't think enough to like, yeah. close yeah. the door. So I'm walking by because so I basically have my armor on and I'm waiting for people to notice. <laughs> <laughs> so so like I'm really looking for cleaning supplies because I know that uh, Rin, <laughs> Rin has already tasked me <laughs> to, to clean. clean the floors. So I'm looking for like cleaning supplies, but I'm I'm like walking around kind of like, you know, hey guys, you know, <laughs> I'm not really saying anything, but I have this. So like I uh, stop by uh, Sleece's door and I look in and say, yeah. notice anything? And you've been, you, it seemed like there's someone in Sleece's room with her, the way she was talking. So as you say, notice anything, you're kind of also surprised that no one else is in there. Yeah, so, so I'm like, oh, didn't mean to interrupt anything. I'm sorry. Wait a second. That's not what you were wearing. Even though she's like entirely preoccupied and wondering like when she finally cracked, she does notice like, that looks like what Kagoya was wearing. Oh, this? <laughs> this whole thing? You mean this? I kind of like... <laughs> It's like just looking at you around like, a little bit. Okay, look, you, you heard me talking, right? I did. And so she like reluctantly like holds up the ring. She's like, "This thing started talking to me." Wait, the the so like I'm gonna yes, step ring. in, and do you, do you, do you mind if I see the ring? No, I I take it off. I'm like here. I all right. I don't know if you'll hear it or if I've just finally lost my mind adventuring with you all. <laughs> okay, I want to roll investigation on the ring. Do you have any, um, what's your arcana? arcana? Plus seven. I would roll that. Okay. Oh, D <laughs> DM, DM. <laughs> DM says roll it. I'm rolling it. All right, 18. 18. So as the ring is in your hand, you feel like... Um, it reminds you very similarly of when you saw the water from the fountain, mm. a very, um, it's very pure and you're getting this, um, this almost celestial magic from it. Um, it, it feels like powerful, very, very powerful, old, old magic. Mm. Um, so I share this with, uh, Salisa. I say, you should really take care of this. I have a sense that this is something very old, something we bought. I think we might have got this from from Avernus. It reminds me of that fountain. That's the ring I've always worn. It was her ring. I know, but we were around that fountain, and like some of us, I don't remember if you took a drink of water, but like some of us took drinks of the water. Maybe something latched onto this ring and kind of hopped a ride back. But it feels very powerful. And if is it's it if it's talking to you, because I can't hear it. Wait, is it is it talking now to you? No. Okay. Um, I guess if other people can hear it, that might change the way that we approach it. But if only you can hear it, it might just have a message for you. It said I was straying from my path. Okay. Um, so I know you've shared with us that, uh, you know, you're on a bit of a vengeance path. Uh, so I wonder if the ring means your original path of, of being a, you know, good paladin or your path of, uh, righteous vengeance for, uh, Mal. I don't know. I don't know, but Chaka, this is freaking me out. Yeah. Well, um, can you get it to talk so I can see if I hear it? Can you ask it a question? A ring. I don't know what to call you. <laughs> What name do you want to give me? Ooh, you can name me. That's exciting. I can name you. If you want. I have a name, but you're not ready to hear it yet. 
Okay. <laughs> 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 <Super awkward. laughs> okay do, do I hear the ring? No. Okay. So I'm do like, you see it like shake in my hand? I just all? see you talking mm-hmm. to nothing. Yeah. And like, I'm just like, okay, clearly can't hear it. <laughs> um, so the ring said, I'm not ready to hear its name, but I could give it one. All right. So I've known you for a while. So I, 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 I believe you. I know that you're not just losing your mind or anything. Um, so we have to make sure that we, um, really take care of this ring, but I think we should listen to it. It just feels very powerful and very, uh, good. Good. Yeah. Well, that explains why I jumped off the bed when I wanted to shake duo. Wait, what? (laughs) Why do you want to shake duo? Why do you want to shake duo? Duo's annoying. Look, I don't know what happened with you guys <laughs> duo. No one filled me in. Right. All oh, I know yeah. is he believes he's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, okay. you That's even know I have no way. idea. So. That's very so, so. <laughs> Okay. Duo, yeah. duo thinks he's a ghost because during a very strange trip through a weird sequence of someone's imagination, Perrin killed Duo, but after Duo turned to a werewolf, and even though he really didn't die, he thinks he died. Oh, oh! So I think you mean in the in what I designed in the cube with the were yes. rats and everything. Hmm. So he thinks he okay. really does believe he's dead. How he's not eating and drinking and actually isn't dead, I don't know. You hear um, all of you, and I'm assuming you're coming down from the yeah, north. I do. Right. I got you. You hear a ding, 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 like um, almost like a dinner bell, but like they didn't have a dinner bell. They're just like. Hitting, like hitting a glass, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like for a yeah. it's, it's a water for a crystal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and you hear dinner is served, everybody. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you want to... <laughs> so Celise puts the ring back on. She's like, Just, uh, I don't know what to do. Well, um, let's talk about it over dinner. I, yeah, I don't know if I want to. Oh. Okay, well, like, let's just keep it between ourselves now, and we'll share it when you feel ready. I don't want you to force I, to share it. I don't think they'll either believe me or the way Ren has acted. He might try to stab me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, well, if you want to keep it a secret, just remember, I just saw you talking to yourself. So if it talks to you around everybody else, you have to ignore it, or else people are going to be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? So if you can do that, then okay. The ring, are you are you going to make me tell the others about you? Only if you want to tell the others about me. But you realize no one else can hear you and it looks very strange, right? Well, maybe you shouldn't care about what others think of you. I meant more it looks like I'm talking to thin air. But you're talking to me. I'm a ring. This <laughs> list will be will be not well by the time this season's over. Um, all right, I may tell them about it. I have to kind of calm down because you have to realize this was a shock. I didn't mean to scare you. You just started talking to me out of out of nowhere. I'd rather talk than be quiet, though, right? If I could talk, you'd probably want me to talk instead of just being quiet and just listening all the time. That's even creepier. Well, I know you're there now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you're there. <laughs> oh, God, that means you've been there when I... Oh. Wait, what? I you've just... Been eavesdropping when I, like, take baths and... What? No, I'm not a creep. <laughs> 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 just... I'll tell them about you. I just... I need a drink first. Okay. <laughs> um... You all head downstairs, and um, Robbie and Duo are standing next to each other, and the um, dining room table, um, although dusty, the dining room, um, is laid out with the fish tacos, the birthday cake, the uh, ravioli, and um, a couple of, like, um, like, I think Duo decided he wanted to make a pineapple upside down cake, so there's, like, mini cupcakes of those, and they're both like standing next to the food in attention, like mm. yes. <laughs> Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> you you guys are our first uh, real guests since we all opened business. So um or not guests, so you live here, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. They work here now. They work here now. Yeah. And uh so and uh he raises um a, a little goblet and says, um 
to to a, a friendship and um and doing our best and eating the things and not stealing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 so, <yeah. laughs> um so as you all um have dinner and wind down for the night, um you're chatting and laughing. This is like the kind of the first time where you have felt comfortable where you're living like uh for the past several months you've been staying in a safe house or um on the run or you know just not in the best place but now you're with your friends and you're enjoying a really great strange meal together um and as you all sleep and wake up in the next morning um, and head downstairs you notice painted on the uh, the mirror in like the foyer, in uh, red letters, are the words "Get out," and that's where we we'll end. Ba-da. Ba-da. No one offered us tea, did they? No one offered no tea. <laughs> no tea. Um, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was. I got suspicions. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I was, I was oh gosh! Totally not expecting Dirty D to jam packed yeah. episode, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh! Um, so usually we leave the last um, couple of minutes to ask in character questions. So if anyone in the chat has questions they want to ask for um, any of the characters, <clears throat> duo, um, anything like that, go ahead and put it in the chat with the word. Was it question, question in front? Question, yeah. question in front, followed by your question. Scare B&B. Scare B&B. Scare B&B. Oh, God, shout they're, they're out to so Raving funny. Sock Monkey for an actual Scare B&B review on Twitter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Wow. <sighs> yeah, so that, someone go to our Twitter and Socks gave us an actual good. Scare B&B. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, Scare B&B. Oh, gosh. Th- that was a lot of fun, though. I, was I, fun. A lot yeah. happened. Wow. And, yeah. I was ra- trying to... And, and I, I do feel like we're like have this home now. Oh, cool. first first question of the season. Right. What kind of souffle was Dirty D making? Okay, uh, real talk. I don't know what a souffle is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I thought it, I got it confused with a chicken pot pie. Uh, so is that not the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> As it's burning, <laughs> like I'm saying it right to the camera. <laughs> Question duo, what's the biggest surprise about being dead? Oh, the surprise they t- don't tell you about is how you can't go through walls. I've been trying to go through this wall, and it just, it just, I can't do it. It just has like a print of his outline. No matter how hard I concentrate, so that's a surprise to me. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, uh, question, Perrin. How would you advise Knock Knock on the toy deal? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's very important. Points. Points. Yeah, you keep, you keep saying that. I don't know what that means. You keep points, telling me points. Are- points are unnecessary. Oh, okay. Yes. But what we really need is we need... Uh, Right on the molds. I, the mm. molds. You keep saying that. I don't know what that <laughs> yes. means. What are they going to do with mold? So, it's going to get moldy? No. So we use those for mass production. Okay. I, I don't understand this. In and it's all about the merchandising. Why do the you lunch have... Boxes. <laughs> the lunchboxes. <laughs> knock, 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 lunch boxes. Knock, knock, lunch boxes. You boxes. know what I thought would be pretty cool? Yes. Knock, knock, door knockers. Ooh. I thought that'd be knock, pretty cool. Knock, knock, that would be pretty cool. That'd be pretty knock, sweet. Knock, knock, oh. <laughs> Yes, or female support. And <laughs> see. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, gosh. Quite, quite, Question for the ring. Very good. Yeah. Uh, so are you going to be kind of like Navi and say, hey, listen a lot when you need to get Selisa's attention. She'll love that if you do. And if you don't understand Navi, that is a reference from uh, Ocarina of Time. Zelda. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is my favorite uh, video game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Y- you think that she'd like it if I went, hey, listen, all no. the time? Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. No. We're best friends. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. we uh, got some good baseballs references. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock the flame. <laughs> <door>. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Pretty good. 
I see oh. you socks. <laughs> Question for the ring. Will you slowly corrupt the wearer? <laughs> or can you turn, or people? Can you turn people invisible? Mm, my powers are undecided as of now. Ah, oh. there is a wink, wink there. Wink. I like wink. how the ring can wink. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's just, like, just, it's just getting like a little <laughs> shiny. It's like it like blinds you a little bit because it shiny makes you wink. <laughs> Question for Shaka. What cleaners do you use? Oh, I'm self cleaning, baby. <laughs> like a, no, like a, a, a uh, solvent. Yes, yeah, solvent. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, I'll stick it in the thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I usually go for a uh, you know uh, seventh generation uh, house uh, seventh generation dis- disinfectant cleaner, uh, w- which you can find at uh, Shaka Wipes at a, <laughs> at a, at a, at a water deep Foods. at your local yeah at a water deep Foods, which yeah. is acquired by Amazon. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Seventh generation, very good cleaner. Right. Yes. Oh my gosh, Captain Cobol. No fabuloso. No, no fabuloso. Oh I was thinking OxyClean, but maybe right. not. No, the comet in the can. Yeah. Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Question: yeah. Yeah, like What would it take for Dirty D to turn into a cleaner D mm. for the sake of his housemates? Also. What's up with tilapia fish tacos, dude? <laughs> treat, treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. yourself. That, yeah, that was. Yeah. Mike. Okay. First of all, <laughs> wait, hold on. What's the first? What, what's the first question mean? You what? made those tacos for Ren without washing your hands. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> after but what, touching a raccoon. What would it take <laughs> turn into a cleaner? Yeah, mm-hmm. just like yeah, a cleaner D, like. It's more a cleanly. dirty D. You're a cleaner, cleaner D. D. Oh, yes. a cleaner D. A yes. cleaner D. Yes. Yes. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. First of all, germs don't exist in Waterdeep, so egg on your face. (laughs) (laughs) If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Um, First of all, that's the reason I can breathe underwater. Uh, (laughs) um, What's up with tilapia fish tacos? Yeah, I know. Okay, they weren't farm raised, at least. Um, Those are like the bottom feeder fish. Yes, I I wish I could afford better, but right now we live in a haunted manner, people. (laughs) I'm dealing with what I got. No, I'm going to make a request for some wild caught salmon. <laughs> yeah. Wild caught. Next, next Heck yeah. Tacos. Question for Rin. Uh, how are you going to keep Gary the frog safe from sleeves? Oh, Gary the lime. Wait, Gary, what is Gary it? the Gary? frog. No, Gary, Gary too. Gary, Gary too. too. Oh, okay. Gary too. Um, He's not Gary wow. the lime the frog. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wish it was Gary the lime. <laughs> I wish it was Gary the lime the frog. I like that. Check out this lime. That's a frog, sir. Well... This is bringing back some painful memories thinking about this, you know. Um, but I think what I'm going to do for for now at least is just like making sure that Gary is very quiet and safe. No one's supposed to know that I have him because if Celise finds out, then Gary may not be around again for a second time. So I'm just going to have him in my coat just to make sure he's around. But this is in reference. Hold on. Stuff. Yeah. I don't have anything, Celise. What do you, what do you mean? Celise <laughs> isn't going to kill a living creature. That was a lime. He was my lime. <laughs> so I still don't have anything. Really I, need I this have pet. nothing here. So Cicero has a question for Ren. Yeah. Is it <laughs> Gary 2 Roman numeral 2? Oh. Or is it Gary number 2? No, Gary. Or is it Gary like, T. Gary oh, yeah, Roman yeah, numeral yeah. 2? Yeah. Like, because like if it was Gary 2... His his last name would be Electric Boogaloo. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> to That's whoever really said that in, in the chat. Tra- nice. tra- but Gary Roman number two. He is Gary yeah. the second. And Gary the second. Okay, Gary the second. second. Gary the second. Also good. Or Gary T O O. That's what I'm saying. Gary T O O. Also, Gary also. Yeah. Be Jason Bateman. Yeah. He's a frog. That is the good T O O. Look who's talking to. Yeah. To think you really think she would hurt. A harmless little frog. He was very, he was oh, very oh, strong. Oh, that's, yes. yeah. that's a good question. Or last does uh, Ash slash Ships have, have a, a room, room in the manor? Uh, Ash slash Ships does have a room in the manor. Um, so, and I didn't explain it, um, but it is uh, set up like a punky teenager room with band posters and a big fluffy bed. Next to it is a smaller fluffy bed. Um, and on it, much like their blankets that they had, they're like little hand drawn um, pictures of. Uh, chips and a hand-drawn picture of Ash Aww. and um, sleeping right now on top of the large bed. Actually, no, they would be at dinner. Never mind. I was going to say Ash is, or Chash is at dinner or sleeping on the bed, but they're at dinner. Anywho. Yep. 
Yes, yeah. they Sweet. do. <laughs> right. Awesome. All right. Cool. So that's that's it, guys. Wow. Yeah, uh, thank you again so much for joining us today. We will be back next Sunday, uh, 12 Central Time, for the second episode of season two. Season four. Season four. four. <laughs> I'm a, I just, my brain is stuck. Episode two. Episode, episode two, two of yeah, season yeah, yeah. four. Oh, there we go. We're oh, going man. back in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's great. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Bye, everyone. Wait, wait. Want to go around the table? Wait, wait. You're not going to exit? What? Yeah, we're yes, not going to. Yes, we're going to do exit. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got really anxious. Let's go around the table. And <laughs> yeah. Do that thing we do. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm Tanya. You're, you're now... Um, mentally corrupt <laughs> paladin or wondering what just happened in Avernus. Um, I am actually home until BlurredCon. Then I'll be on a couple panels there. If you'll be at Gen Con, I'm actually one of the inside speakers. And if you're in D.C., I'm speaking at the Smithsonian American Art Museum and giving a keynote address for Sam Arcade. And then hopefully I will go sleep until PAX <laughs> West. Oh, uh, I'm Brandon Stennis. Uh, I'll be at E3 this week uh, from Tuesday to Thursday, um, and then I think I don't have anything like crazy um, besides my birthday yeah. next month. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, awesome. yeah, that's gonna be happening. Uh, if you want to find me, you can fo- follow me on Twitter at I am Brandon TV or on Twitch at I am Brandon. Yeah. Uh, Cicero Holmes, you can find me on Twitter at Stubby Stan. Uh, find all the things that I'm doing right there. And uh, this voice is for hire. So if you have any voiceover stuff, uh, check me out. And uh, if you like my voice, you can you can have this voice. (laughs) Um, So uh, while we're celebrating birthdays, I want to send an early shout out to my brother over there, Sharif Jackson, who before we meet 24 hours before we meet will be he will level up. I'll level up. Oh, level up. Uh, So uh, shout out to that dude. I love that cat. Um, Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, hey, uh, my name is Carlos Luna. You can find me on all social media under Carlos Crits. Um, you can find me on this channel on Wednesdays at, I don't even, 11 Central Standard Time for Jace Bellerin Must Die. Uh, I, and where can you find me? Gen Con is the next thing where you can find me next. Yeah. And I'm Sharif Jackson. I played Shaka Tiefling Warlock. Uh, you can find all my stuff at SharifJackson.com. Uh, S-H-A-R-E-E-F Jackson.com. Uh, there's a projects link on the top that will link to all of the, the other things that I'm doing. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy to be back uh, with these uh, wonderful people. And if I seem stressed or crazy, it's because I'm getting married uh, mm-hmm. soon. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, that is the real uh, dungeon master. She <laughs> 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 will be your dungeon yeah. master. Yeah. <laughs> I'm signing up. The real Dungeon Crawl is planning the wedding. Oh, yeah. I'm signing up for a lot of roles. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of random roles. Well, you get your cleaning stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm getting started in game. Yes. <laughs> um, and I'm your DM for this season, Serena Marie. You can find me on Twitter at Serena X Marie or on Instagram at Serena Marie. Um, the next con that I'll be at will also be Gen Con, followed right. by Big Bad Con. Yes, and I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's it, y'all. Oh, and congrats to Mike Bias who won oh, the Soul Coin. Yeah, congrats, Mike. Oh, congratulations, Mike. Congratulations, Mike. You own all of our souls. Yes, <laughs> enjoy our souls. That's right. Take that. Take that hell. What is it? The hell tank. What are they called? Uh, oh They're like gosh. thunder tanks. The hell machine. Hell, hell machine. machine. Yeah. Yeah. Those are war machines. Hell war machines. machines. Yeah. yeah. Put that coin in there, right? Yes. <laughs> and we love D and D Beyond. Thank oh, you yes, so much. Yes, yes, we love D and D Beyond. Yeah, yes. We're, so please use our code so we can renew it and keep having this. What's show. that code again? Rivals nineteen, all in caps. All right. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> all right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.